And of course, as we said at the top of the hour, Governor McMaster has declared a state of emergency in South Carolina ahead of uh, Idalia. Mary Green has the latest from the state house where the governor gave an update today. Governor Henry McMaster says he is not anticipating issuing any evacuation orders or closing state buildings ahead of the storm, but he is urging South Carolinians to use common sense as Idalia approaches. This is you don't want to say routine, but we've we've done it so many times. I think we get better and better uh, as we go along and that this this team is is fully prepared. Governor McMaster says the state's emergency operations center in Lexington County is activated and will be fully staffed starting Wednesday morning. It follows his emergency declaration ahead of the storm. That state of emergency declaration allows all of our agencies to move more quickly to move people and equipment and to remove uh, restrictions if necessary that, that slow things down. The governor says no shelters are open now, but that the state is prepared to set them up. He says he spoke yesterday with the head of FEMA who offered whatever help the state may need. My advice would be to stick to the official sources. Keep, keep, keep yourself aware of, of what the, the latest information is and then uh, proceed uh, Accordingly, McMaster encourages South Carolinians to have their prescriptions, papers and pets ready if they need to leave their homes to be prepared to go without power if it goes out and he reminds them to not drive through floodwaters. While the main impacts are expected along the coast, the governor cautions all South Carolinians to be ready for heavy rains and winds. Sled has been in touch with all the sheriffs. We've been in touch with all the power companies, Office of Regulatory Staff. Uh, we're moving people and equipment already to get them positioned. And if it if if it gets better, that's good. If it if it gets worse, gets stronger, we we're prepared to go go all in. And as far as closures go, the governor notes that while he is not anticipating ordering any at this point, school districts do have the discretion to order them on their own, as some are already doing. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.